Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to set up the Wise Cam Outdoors. What's really cool about this camera is that you can put it outside, but also that it is battery powered. So you can go ahead and charge this up and it's gonna operate on the battery and or you can go ahead and connect it to a permanent power source. So you have two options there. So in order to set up the Wise Cam Outdoors, what we need to do is go ahead and click on the Wise app. We've opened that up, create a username and password if you have not done so already. And then you go in the upper left-hand corner here, click on that plus symbol. And then we've got a couple different options here. We're gonna click on add a device right there. Now we've got a couple different devices here. We're gonna click on camera because that's what we're installing. And we are installing a Wise Cam Outdoor. So go ahead and click on that middle option right there. And then it says, looks like you need to set up a base station. So what we've got is this base station right here. And all you're gonna do is go ahead and plug this in. So you plug it into power, go ahead and plug that in. But one other step that you need to do is you're gonna need a Cat6 cable like we have here. They come in the box. You're gonna plug that into the port back here. And then you need to plug the other end of this Cat6 cable into your Wi-Fi router or your Wi-Fi modem so that it can get set up and started. So all I'm gonna do now is go ahead and plug in the power and I'm gonna plug in this other end into our Wi-Fi modem or Wi-Fi router. So you wanna be close to either one of those while you get this set up. Now, one thing to note is sometimes Wi-Fi routers only have one extra port. So you may need to get an additional switch to be able to connect this that has more ports. So we'll include a link to that below if that's something that you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in now. All right, so we got our base station plugged in here. You can see we got the power up light here, as well as we plugged in our ethernet cable into our Wi-Fi router. So we're good to go there. And now we're gonna go ahead and click add a base station on our app here. It says connect to your mobile network. We've already done that. So we're gonna go ahead and click next here. It says plug the base station into power and your router. We've done that. It says the status light is solid blue. Our status light is not solid blue yet. So we're gonna wait for that to change from this orange light to a solid blue. All right, so you can see that it changed from an orange light to a blinking blue light to now a solid blue. So if you wanna know what the lights mean, you can go ahead and click here. It says uh, a solo yellow light, it takes about a minute for it to change to blue. A yellow light means travel modes enabled. A flashing blue means that it's connecting. It took about a minute for it to go from the orange to a blue light. So if you want any more information on the lights, you can go ahead and click that. Ours is now that solid blue. So we're ready to go ahead and click next here. And you need to check that little box in order to go to the next screen. So we did that. And now we're gonna click next. It says connecting. This may take up to two minutes. All right, now we need to name our device. I'm gonna call this uh, camera base station because we do have a security hub on this app, camera base, we'll just leave it at that. And then I'm gonna go click down here and we can say finish. And now we just need to, it says new firmware available. Get the latest features. If you have multiple devices, you can upgrade them all at once. Okay, we're going to say upgrade now and let it get that update going. So let's click update here. Now it says, congrats, your update went great. So we're gonna go ahead and click done here. And it says, you can now connect the base station to Wi-Fi. Uh, that's already happened. So it's connected via the ethernet cable. We're good there. And we're gonna go ahead and click add a wise cam outdoor here, right underneath that. It says, flip the power switch on behind the camera. So right back here, you're gonna to need to open up this little port on the back. It's got a rubberized coating. Let's see if I can get it off there. For some reason, I'm having a difficult time. There we go. And that's where you're gonna charge this device up. I do recommend that you charge this for at least 20 minutes prior to getting it set up. You could also just plug it in while you're getting it set up and that would work. But what you need to do in order to get this set up is go ahead and flip this switch over to on. So we're gonna go ahead and flip that little switch right there over to on. You can see the light right here lights up. That means that it is on. Let's see what happens on the front of this device. I'm gonna go ahead and while we're at it right now, peel off this little protective coating right here. And then let's go back to the app. So it says, 
The status will flash yellow. All right, so right here, this light did turn on and we're going to go ahead and click begin setup. It says press the sync button on the bottom of the cam. So on the bottom here, there is a sync button right here. We need to press that in order to get this set up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna press that button right here. It says, you will hear a pairing is in progress. Pairing is in progress, please wait. So I don't know if you could hear that, but it did speak to us. So that means that it is pairing. And let's go ahead, we'll look on the back here. We still have that orange light on now that we've done that pairing is in progress. So. Let's go ahead and put that cover back on for now, and then we'll see if we can't get this set up. Now, one thing I really like about the Wise Cam is that it has this magnetic base right here that you can put it onto, and this has a, a fair amount of different orientations. So you can turn the cam on here, left or right on this base, but you could also mount it. There's uh, some provided screws and a mounting plate. So you could mount this on a wall and have it pointed down, or you can just use it on a desk like we've got right here. And you can tilt it up, down, whatever you need to see, as well as rotate it, which is, I think, pretty cool. So uh, let's see what we can do with getting this set up. We'll just keep watching this light here and see what happens. All right, so once we press the pairing in progress button, then this did connect to the base station and now you can see that light is blue. Sometimes it takes more than once to press that button. So for us, it actually took us two times to do it. So it went through, it didn't recognize the camera the first time. And all I did again was when it went back to that pairing in progress screen, I went down to this camera and I pressed on the sync button right here again. That's all I did. So sometimes it will not work the first time. Sometimes it will work the first time, but if it doesn't, the easiest thing to try is just go ahead and press that sync button again, and it should go through the setup just like it went for for us. Now, something also to note, if it isn't syncing, there is a sync button on here, and you can press that if you're having issues. So you'd press this, and you would press the sync button on here, and sometimes that can help those two devices go through but follow the instructions the first time, it should set up. If it doesn't, then go ahead, press the sync button on here once until you hear that pairing is in progress, volume or sound from the camera, then go ahead and release it. If that doesn't work, then go ahead and press the pairing is in progress button down here, the sync button down here, and press the sync button on the actual mini router or hub, the Wise Hub, to get these to set up. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this a name. We've got a couple different options here. Let's go ahead, we'll call this one uh, Side Yard and click Finish. It says Share Access with Family and Friends. I'm gonna not do that for right now. So let's go ahead and we're just gonna click uh, maybe later. It says Continue to Mounting. We're gonna go ahead and press Skip here. It says Quick Setup Unlocked. I'm gonna go ahead and click Got It here. It says one last thing, manually adjust your camera's position so that target area is within the PIR effective area. That's just the motion sensor on here. And we're gonna go ahead and click all set here and let's see if we can't get our video from this device. It says getting video data, three of three. So we're 36% charged up. That was after about, let's see, um, probably an hour of getting this charged up. It says new firmware available, get the latest features. Uh, let's go ahead and we can upgrade now. We already did that. So let's click cancel for this time right now. And you can see now we have the video right here. We've got the live video um, from my fingers on the camera and we can rotate the camera top, up, down. And uh, we can even look at this camera through the camera there. Um, so now our WISE outdoor camera is set up. Uh, what also is nice about these is that you can actually put an SD card in them, a mini SD card, and store some of the footage locally if you want that. Um, but you can also have this stored on the cloud if you wanna have one of their plans for storage, you can go ahead and do that through the app here. So we can record, we can uh, turn the sound on, uh, we can speak through this. It does have two-way communication as well as live video or the ability to take a photo. So we can go ahead and just say, take a photo. We would need to allow this here. So we're gonna go ahead and allow, and it just took a photo here. 
and uh, then we are back to live video and you can see my hand there on the video. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Wisecam outdoors. If you have any questions or comments on the setup process, anything helpful at all, go ahead and put those down below and we will try and help you out with how we got our Wise camera set up. So thanks again and we'll see you next time.